Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hacks and today I'm going to show you on how to install dual operating systems. What is a dual operating system? Well, a dual operating system is uh, having one hard drive and then uh, every single time you power on your computer you have two options or three or four depending on how many operating systems you want to install on that hard drive. Let's say uh, right now this computer has Windows 7. Uh, it's 320 gigabytes total and I'm going to install dual operating systems and the uh, second operating system I'm going to install is Windows 7 Windows Vista Ultimate 64 bit. Make sure if you have a 64 bit, make sure to install a 64 bit operating system. You, if you have a 32, install a 32, but do not install 32 bit and a 64 bit on the same hard drive. It could cause some malfunction. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to start. You want to right click computer. You want to go to manage. Once the computer management window pops up, you're going to go to this management. And then right here, you're going to see a list of all the hardware devices you got where you could store the memory. Like, for example, I got a USB and an SD card installed on the computer right now. And this is the main hard drives. Now, what you want to do is you want to find your main hard drive. And then you want to right click and then you want to shrink volume. Something like this should show up and then um, make it's gonna tell you the total size before shrink which is the total uh, memory you got this says 265 gigabytes and right here is uh, size available for shrink so that means that's like the maximum size that you could uh, uh, partition so you could split your hard drive only 131 gigabytes out of this 265 gigabytes but uh, always remember 1000 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte or 1024 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte approximately so uh, you want to shrink at least uh, 40 just put in 40,000 that's 40 gigabytes minimum and then you want to click shrink I'm not gonna do that because I already did it so I'm just gonna exit out of that and uh, we're gonna need to shut down our computers once you shut down your computer you want to turn it back on and you want to press F12 or whichever button leads you to uh, the boot manager and once in the boot manager you want to intersect the operating system that you're supposed to have the second operating system you want to install on the same hard drive you want to make sure you have it uh, inside the DVD drive so right now I'm just I'm just gonna put it inside the DVD drive by the way this is uh, right now I have Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit and I'm going to install Windows Vista Ultimate 64 bit with Service Pack 1 and then in the boot manager there's supposed to be like I don't know how many options but mine size 5 and you want to look for your DVD drive this is the first one which is DVD RAM yeah, DVD RAM, which is the DVD drive. Hitachi, which is my hard drive. Generic multi car, which is the, I think the SD reader, and then the flash disk, which is the USB reader, and then the network boot, which is the network drive. So right now, the uh, the second operating system is inside the the DVD. So I'm just gonna choose DVD, and I'm just gonna press enter. And say press any key to uh to boot from CD or DVD. So I just did that. I'm just gonna choose Windows Setup. Just press Enter, and then it's supposed to be loading. I'll be back when it's loading. Once it's finished um, loading the files, you wanna choose your uh, language, your time, and uh, your US board, whatever. And you just wanna click Next, and then right here, choose the partition that you just uh, choose the hard drive that you just partitioned, which is the 40 gigabytes, which should be uh, the second one or the third one, one of those two. Uh, you could format it. You could go to drive options and format it just in case. But we already did that, so I'm um, I'm just gonna click next, and it should be installing. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait till it, it's all finished. It sh your computer should restart, so you just wanna wait, and do not press any key. Don't just don't. And then you're gonna see this. Just leave it. Do not press no key. Let the installation continue.
and then your computer should have this please wait while Windows set set up your computer and you just want to wait after that it should just continue on installing Windows it should be on this fourth check by now completing installation your computer should restart again and again do not press any key do not press any key and again do not press any key you just have to wait in this one but don't don't press any key you're gonna come to a screen like this you just want to enter a username like for example mine is gonna be Hector and the password I'm just gonna leave it blank and I'm just gonna choose a picture for now and I'm just gonna click next and then name the computer and then set what wallpaper you want currently I want the Aurora wallpaper so I'm just gonna click next and ask me later set my time and then I'm gonna start it up you're gonna come to a screen like this just let it load and your screen may flash because uh, the computer is trying to get uh, the correct resolution for your screen as you can see I already have Windows Vista installed and right now I'm just gonna prove to you guys that the dual booting works so I'm just gonna shut it down and then I'm gonna turn on the computer again I'm just gonna turn it back on and then right here you should see two options Microsoft Windows Vista which is the Windows Vista Ultimate we installed or uh, Windows 7 uh, right now I'm just gonna boot into Windows 7 I'm just gonna hit enter and then it's gonna start booting up and as you can see it booted up into Windows 7 and everything works perfectly fine and I'm just gonna test it one more time and I'm I'm going to go to Windows Vista so I'm just gonna turn it off and I'm going to turn it back on again but this time I'm I'm going to choose uh, Microsoft Windows Vista. And as you can see, that um, sorry, sorry guys, I needed to scream because my stupid sisters were yelling. As you can see, uh, Microsoft Windows Vista works. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, favorite this video, and also like my Facebook page. And also, the number one thing you have to do, you have to subscribe. Well, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I know I already said that, but oh well. This is PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.